Sussex slipped to their fourth defeat from five games in the Royal London One Day Cup, the latest loss coming in Cheltenham to Gloucestershire by 51 runs. Put into bat after losing the toss, the home side lost Chris Dent in the fourth over. Chris Jordan with the catch off list a debutant Jofra Archer. Gloucestershire, the current holders of this cup, once again looked at their inspirational captain Michael Klinger to get the ball rolling and he dominated the early scoring, having half of the 49 runs on the board in the first nine overs. By then, Gloucestershire had also lost Ian Cobain for eight, nicking off to Ben Brown, Ajmal Shazad with a wicket in his second over. Jordan then bowled Hamish Marshall off the inside edge for 11, before Will Beer picked up the big wicket of Klinger for 46 just after the 100 had been posted in the 22nd over, the batsman seemingly unhappy with the decision. This gorgeous cricket ground has produced some tricky batting pitches in the fortnight of this annual festival. Graham Van Buren, one of the few batsmen to enjoy themselves here, as he added 36 runs for the fifth wicket with Benny Howell, who was out for 19 as he gave Beer his second success. Gloucestershire looked in some trouble when, on 38, Van Buren had his stumps disturbed by Jordan, leaving it to the former Sussex player Tom Smith and Kieran Nima Barnett to keep the ball ticking over. With 10 overs of the 50 left, the home team had only 170 runs to their name, but these two batted sensibly in adding 42 for the seventh wicket. Nima Barnett struck the only six of the innings, clearing the rope over mid-wicket off Danny Briggs. But in the same over, the Kiwi was held by Ed Joyce off the spinner for 29, another batsman to make a start without pushing on. Smith and debutant Patrick Griesharber were able to add 45 runs for the eighth wicket. The young keeper out to the last ball of the innings for 20, leaving Smith unbeaten on 43, made out of a final score of 242 for eight. That appeared to be beneath par on this surface, but after Joyce mistimed a shot, off Matt Taylor to be held by Van Buren, and Phil Salt edged Craig Miles behind after striking back-to-back -back boundaries, the Sharks found themselves up against it on 19 for two. Luke Wright briefly threatened by hitting four fours in his 18, before he chipped Taylor to Marshall at mid-on, the visitors now on 43 for three in the ninth over. That became 59 for four after 12 as Chris Nash was bowled off a bottom edge by Smith for six, leaving it to Harry Finch and Ben Brown to try to establish a partnership to keep their side in this contest. Only one four was hit in a 16-over spell as the spinners Smith and Van Buren put the squeeze on. Sussex, though, back in contention as they reached 124 for four, wanting 119 more from the last 20 overs. Then, just at the wrong time, Brown drove Howell to Cobain after compiling a patient 39, of 70 balls with only one four, but Finch was able to complete what was just his second list A50 from 88 balls, Jordan the man with him now to keep the game alive. But having got to 14, the latter gave Smith his second wicket, leaving with 84 runs needed off the last 10 overs with only four wickets in hand. Smith really had a day to remember, finishing with figures of four for 26, an excellent return catch putting his side right on top Archer the man to go this time. The former Sussex man's fourth wicket arrived as Shazad was well held at deep mid-wicket by Dent after making three. And when Beer was run out by Dent in the next over, the fourth, the game was just about up with the Sharks on 177 for nine. Finch can at least be very proud of his efforts. He ended on an unbeaten 87 made from 115 balls and innings containing eight fours and this six. But the largest defeat was then confirmed as Howell Bowl Briggs, Sussex all out in the 46th over for 191. That meant a defeat by 51 runs, a fourth loss from five games in this competition. Up next, it's a home match against Hampshire under the lights on Wednesday.